I know that you are Abraham's descendants, but you seek to kill me, because my word has no place in you. I speak what I have seen with my father, and you do what you have seen with your father. They answered and said to him Jesus Abraham is our father. Jesus said to them. If you were Abraham's children, you would do the works of Abraham. But now you seek to kill me, a man who has told you the truth which I heard from God. Abraham did not do this. You do the deeds of your father. Then they said to him, We were not born of fornication, we have one father God. Jesus said to them, If God were your father, you would love me, for I proceeded forth and came from God, nor have I come of myself, but he sent me. Why do you now understand my speech? Because you are not able to listen to my word. You are of your father, the devil, and the desires of your father you want to do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and does not stand in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaks a lie, he speaks from his own resources, for he is a liar and the father of it. But because I tell the truth you did not believe me. Because I tell the truth, you do not believe me. Which of you convicts me of sin? And if I tell the truth, why do you not believe me? He who is of God hears God's words, therefore you do not hear, because you are not of God. John 8 37 47 Good day Father God, and our Lord Jesus, the Christ, and Holy Spirit of the Most High. Blessed and holy are your names and you are greatly to be praised. I am coming to look at some scripture that were shared by one of your ministers this week. I am thinking on the what and why you described in these verses, Lord. I ask your grace in me as I study them and talk about them with you today. I come in your blessed name Lord Jesus. Amen. Lord. You take on the naysayers of your time and you speak truth to them that they will not hear or accept it. Lord, as I think on this today I think this whole scene and words were written for those coming behind you. For us today too, not just then, but for us always to see and be aware of. It is as this holy word tells us, they have ears but they do not hear, and eyes but they do not see for they are spiritually blind and deaf to the truth of God, and no longer want to hear or can hear for their hearts and minds are closed off and hardened. It is their way or no other way, period. In their way it death to them. Twice you ask the question, why? And then you answer the question. You say, why do you not understand me? Then you say to them, it is because you are not able to listen to my words. Then why do you not believe the truth I share? It is because they were not of you, and the Father, and they were listening to their own father, the devil. Their ears were tuned to him and not to anything from you or the Father God. All this is an example for us to see and understand, even though they could not and would not hear or accept these words from you. These words help me to know why today some will not hear or even consider listening to your word this Bible, and what it tells us. Why when things seem plain and real to me they can be dismissed and ignored by so many others. It hurts me to see this and to know that more will not hear your words of life, than will hear them and take them to heart. I think of our families Lord, and where some are and will they ever hear or see your truth. And what can I do besides pray? If I speak truth and life as you did, Lord. Will they turn away too and hate you? And like they did, what about the ones who think they are right, that they know you like these men did but they really don't? They fully believed they were right and you were wrong. They were very set in their beliefs of their position. Lord, how can we help those who have no idea that their supposed rightness is so wrong? It is far easier to win someone to you, Lord, that knows who and what they are without you, a sinner than one who is self-righteous. Lord, you were so very plain spoken to these men. You told them right out, you are not of my father God, if you were you would love me who came from him. And they would have, as any who knows and loves the father would and did then. You told them they were of their father the devil. Wow! How mind-blowing would that be to think that one might not be serving God and doing good but instead serving Satan. 
You said to them you are all deceived, and the one who is deceiving you is the one who is in control of you through his lies. Satan is the author of all lies and deception, and you say truthfully that there is no truth in him, everything is lies and mirrors, subtle deceit always. And what a revelation this should have been for those men and for anyone who reads this today to ponder, who am I, and who do I really serve? Am I deceived, or am I walking in the word of God and loving him more than my own opinions and will? Am I humble or proud? Is my heart fully surrendered? If not I need to get my life set right with you now, and not let my heart get hardened. I really believe that the more we say no to you, the more deaf and blind to you we can become. My Lord, please seal my heart and life and keep my ear and eyes open to you always. Lord, it is a very scary thought to think about being so strong in one's belief that they are right yet be eternally wrong and lose their lives. Hell was not made for us, for any of us, but your word tells us that hell is being expanded for the lost. All because we choose a life of selfishness and pleasure, than serving and loving a loving God. I am so happy, so elated, that I am your child and that you called me out of my own darkness and self-deception and into your loving light. Your mercy and love are so wonderful to me. Why you love us so is past my knowing yet, but you do. You are amazing. Your love is astounding. You are wonderful for sure. My Lord Jesus, it is in and by your very wonderful name that I come and close this morning's prayer. Thank you for these scriptures this morning. Thank you for caring to help us see how life can be. Bless you my Lord. Amen.